are you calling a schoolboy? It's derby time as the junior and first team rugby powerhouses go head to head. Back the stars of your favorite school by sending picture and video highlights from their titanic clashes to sport at expressoshow.com. If they make the cut, we'll take the battle to TV's front lines and broadcast them to the world. Expresso Sport, the home of rugby's big hits. Who are you calling a schoolboy? Kicking things off with rugby. First up is King Edward School versus Pretoria Boys High. Kez are sitting 8th on the school's top 20 list according to Rugby365.com and are heavy favourites in this encounter. Shooting down to the Cape and another tantalising battle sees Paul Boys High travel to Bishops College on Saturday. Bishops will be weary of a team that is surely buzzing after their victory over Grey College last weekend. Now for our featured clashes. Staying in the Cape's southern suburbs and making the short trip across the road from Bishops, our first featured match is Rondebosch versus Sachs. Things kick off or rather push off with the boys hockey on Saturday morning 9am. This is sure to be an exciting start to the battle at Rondebosch as both sides have some exciting talent ready to show off their skills. With the amount of depth they have and only two losses all season, assistant coach Miguel Edwards is confident in another Rondebosch victory. This will be the first meeting this year which sees tenacious Cameron Calder's team taking on the brute force of Darnie Crano and the rest of the Rondebosch forwards. Both teams will be fighting for bragging rights in the greater Rondebosch area. A lot of history here, so it's sure to be a good game. The Expresso Show will be there to catch all the action as it unravels play by play. Moving down to KZN now and it's reunion time as Kersney and Maritzburg College lock horns once again on Saturday. The age-old rivals are sitting closely together on the rugby standings and will be laying everything on the line for their schools. Maritzburg, who have won their last two games, will be the favourites. But after having a bye last weekend, the boys from Kearnsley will be super focused and revving to defeat their bitter rivals. The city of Port Elizabeth is in for a real treat as one of the oldest school clashes is reignited on Saturday with Grey High School facing off against Dale College. The Delayans, aka the All Blacks, will be looking to continue their impressive form in these local derbies after defeating Queen's College and Kingswood back-to-back. -back. Grey High School is also coming off the back of two successive weekends on the turf and will be looking to cause a major upset by defeating a school that sits seven places above them in the top 20 rankings. In schoolboy rugby news, Fortracker High School has suspended one of their pupils from playing rugby for the rest of his school career after he was found guilty of racially abusing an opponent in a match against Pinetown Boys High School. The principal was quoted in sports24.co.za as saying, Fortracker has for many years been known for the good, hard, clean rugby that we've played and this behavior from coaches, players and parents will not be tolerated. Don't forget that the Under-20 Eight Nations Cup is currently underway in Cape Town, so do go out and support Amajita in the final three days of the tournament. Games will be played at Athlone and Cape Town Stadium alike, and tickets range between 20 Rand and 50 Rand. Who are you calling a schoolboy? Stay with Expresso and SABC3.